PG lab program two to create and rotate a triangle about the origin and a fixed point. To rotate an object, the three sequence of operation to be performed are translate the object so that the pivot point position is moved to the coordinate origin, rotate the object about the coordinate origin, translate the object so that the pivot point is returned to its original position. Implementation of this program. Required header files, stdio.h, glut.h are included. Variables like x, y to read the coordinate of the fixed point. Where to rotate is initialized with zero. Translate x, translate y is initialized with zero. Rotate angle is also initialized to zero. In the main function, printf function where is used to enter the fixed point for the rotation. So using scanf, we read the user input, the x, y coordinate position value, glut init will initialize the glut. Glut init display mode is used to set double buffer and set the RGB color mode. Glut init window size, set the window size to width 800 and height 800. Glut init window position is set to the default position that is the top left corner of the window and the x y value is 0 comma 0. Glut create window creates a window with a given title rotate created triangle. Call upon init function open gl initialization function in the init function GL clear color is used to set the background color. R, G, B are all set to the value 1 and alpha value is 1 and so we set the background color to white and opaque. To set the clipping area, we need to issue a series of commands as follows. First, select the projection matrix. Then, Reset the projection matrix to identity matrix. Then we need to choose 2D orthographic view with the desired clipping area. To issue the series of command, GL matrix mode function is called and the argument which is passed a constant GL projection mode. This sets the, pro this sets the projection matrix. Then GL load identity will reset the projection matrix then blue ortho 2D will set the clipping areas left, right, bottom, top. So this shows the default left, right, bottom, top value. In the program, blue ortho 2D, the clipping area top, left, bottom, top is set x min to minus 800, x max to 800, y min to minus 800 and y max to 800. So clip area mode is set to projection mode. Further, to change the projection mode where we need to perform translation, rotation, operation. So we change the projection mode to model view mode. So GL matrix mode is called and change the mode to GL model view. GLED display function is registered in the main function and we call the callback function called display. In display function, GL clear will set, will clear the color buffer and the background color which was being set by clear color, that is white background color is now clear. GL load identity will clear the color buffer. GL color will set the color of the point. The color of the point is set to red. Draw pixel user defined function is called. In draw pixel function, we use gl underscore point primitive to plot a point at the origin of the window. And the origin is plotted by calling the function gl vertex x1 is 0, y1 is 0. And the point size attribute is set with the value 5.0. So you can see there is a window created and we just plotted a point on the window. The point color is red and the size is 5. If 
using if statement, we just check where to rotate is equal to one. So the condition is false, where where to rotate is initialized to false. So when the control come here, where to rotate is equal to two. The condition is still false and the control comes here. And GL translate GL translate F function is called. Translation is done by calling the function GL translate. And the arguments passed to this function are X, Y, Z. Since the object appears on the X, Y plane, we pass what is X value, Y value, and Z is initialized with zero as it is a 2D object. Rotation is done in OpenGL by calling GL rotate function. GL rotate function and the argument passed. The first argument is the rotation angle. The rotation angle which is of type float and across which point? Across the point X, Y point. X, Y, Z point and again the point is rep represented on X, Y plane. So Z value is equal to zero. So this angle specifies the rotation in degree and X, Y, Z forms the axis of rotation. So GL translate function is called then GL rotate function and then GL translation. So a sequence of translate, rotate, translate function is performed and then triangle user defined function is called and the triangle is drawn by passing the parameters translate x and translate y. This is triangle and the triangle is constructed using a primitive gl underscore polygon is passed as an argument to the gl begin function. So the polygon primitive is used to draw a triangle. A triangle consists of three vertex coordinates. The first vertex coordinate, we plot a point x, y. So x, y is the coordinates which we read from the user. So when I run the program and ask for the user, enter the fixed point for rotation. So it reads the input user input for x and y. Say for example, here the user input x is 100, y is 100. So x is 100, y is 100. This is the first coordinate and the second coordinate is x plus 400, y plus 400. So this is the second coordinate and this is the third coordinate, x plus 300 and y is 100 plus 0. So this three vertex coordinate plots a triangle by using GL polygon primitive. At the end of the function we call GL flush. And the color of the polygon, the color of the triangle drawn using polygon primitive, the color of the object is set by calling the function GL color red, green, blue. So green is set with a value one so you can find the object color as green. Glad post redisplay. Glad post redisplay is called to post a window which in turn will activate the display function again. Glad post read display is being called so that it in turn will call the display function again. Glad swap buffer. In the program, in main function, the display mode is set as double buffer. The mode is set as double buffer. Double buffering uses to display buffer to smoothen any animation of the object. The screen is prepared in a back buffer and front buffer. Once the preparation is done, you can see that glut swap buffer command can swap the contents between the front buffer and back buffer. So back buffer is always used for loading the next content to be displayed while the Friend buffer can be used to display the contents available in the buffer. 
So to swap the contents between the front buffer and the back buffer in the display function, we call glut swap buffer. So in the display function, instead of calling GL flush, we call glut swap buffer. This swaps the front and back buffer contents. Glut create menu. Glut create menu calls a callback function called rotate menu. This is rotate menu function and the argument passed is the option. So your option here is the identifier of type int. So in if statement, using if statement, I check for the option is equal to one. So this function returns an identifier, which is an integer value. Say if the option is equal to one, we write upon the option like rotate menu option, rotate around origin. So if option is equal to one, the option set is rotate around origin. That is the object to rotate around the origin. The object here is the triangle to rotate around the origin. If option is equal to two, then rotate around the fixed point. That is you need to rotate the object around the fixed point. This is the fixed point. If option is equal to three, then where to rotate is equal to three. So option menu option three indicates stop rotation. So in the rotate function, suppose option is equal to one, then where to rotate is equal to one, I call the display function. I call the display function. In the display function, if where to rotate is equal to one, then translate x is set with the value zero, translate y is equal to zero. That means you're rotating the object along the origin and the rotate angle is initialized with zero. Now the angle has been incremented by 0.9. So the rotate, it has been rotated, the angle which is initialized to zero is now being incremented, it is now 0.9. Similarly, if the second menu option is selected, if the option is two, way to rotate is equal to two. So rotate the object about the fixed point. So about this is the fixed point. So in that case, translate X is equal to X. That is the user input X coordinate value. Translate Y is the user input Y coordinate value and rotate angle, which is initialized to zero. Now it is incremented by 0.9 and the use color of the point fixed point is set with blue so gl color 3f rgb you can see the blue value is set with one and call upon the draw pixel function that draw pixel will again plot a point about this fixed point and the fixed point you can see it is in blue in color glut had menu entry so glut Add menu entry function is used to create the menu option. If the identifier is one, I give the name menu option rotate around origin. Glut add menu entry identifier two, I create the option name rotate around fixed point. Glut add menu entry identifier is three, create the menu option stop rotation. Glut attach menu. This function is used to have menu to have the mouse interface. So I just pass upon the mouse button on the click of glut right button, the menu should pop up. So you can have the mouse interface and define on the click of which button the menu option to pop up in the program on the right click of right button, these three options will pop up. In the edge of the main function, glut main loop so this function in turn will make the program enter into the event processing loop and exits only at the end and the output for the program so when you run the program when you compile and run the program ask for the user to enter the fixed point of rotation. Suppose for example, I enter XY coordinate value as 100 comma 100 
and on the window when you just right click you can see the menu option appears like this if you click on the first rotate around origin you can see that the object is rotated at this point if you click on the second option rotate around fixed point you can see the object is rotated about this fixed point if you click on the third option stop rotation you can see that it stops the rotation of the object thank you